Presa Canario and Cane Corso are two very similar Mastiff type of dogs, similar in both appearance and temperament. And in this video I will tell you what are the differences between those two dog breeds. Quick quiz before the video, can you recognize if this is Cali Corzo or Presa Canario? Watch the video and find out the correct answer. As usual, let's start a comparison with the size of those two dog breeds. Both breeds are recognized by FCI, so I will use their breed standards to compare them. Can Corso height should be between 60 to 68 centimeters, while Presa Canario height is between 56 to 66 centimeters. If we look into the FCI bridge standard of Presa Canaria, we will find that there is a really big difference between lowest and highest possible weight of Presa Canaria. The weight of female Presa Canaria should be between 40 to 55 kilograms and 50 to 65 kilograms for males. But even though this is a bridge standard, there is not many Presas over 60 kilograms. The Cane Corso weight is between 40 to 50 kilograms, which is, I would say, much more accurate. The females are most of the time between 40 to 45 kilograms and the males are between 45 to 50 kilograms. But of course, if you have Cane Corso, this is just a breed standard and if your Cane Corso have, let's say, 52 kilograms, it doesn't automatically mean it's a bad dog. They might be healthy and fit, even if they are not fitting completely into the breed standards. So as you can see, a typical Cane Corso is a little bit taller, but they are not that much heavier, which makes them look more athletic and indeed they are one of the most athletic Mastiffs of all. Presa Canario build is more robust and muscular, but honestly both dogs are very muscular and the difference, even though there is the difference, the difference is not extreme. But still, their size and body is probably the easiest way how to separate these two dog breeds apart visually, because they are very similar in other areas of appearance uh, as well. So as you can see, they are really very similar dog breeds. There are some other slight differences. For example, their head. Both breeds have large head, but I would say that the head of Presa Canario is just gigantic. And the Cane Corso have slightly shorter and wide muzzle. Both dogs have short coat, but their coat is another little difference between them. While Cane Corso coat is very dense and they have slight undercoat, Presa Canario has no undercoat and their coat is more coarse. The most common coat colors for Presa Canario are fawn, brindle, black, red and silver. For Cane Corso it's also brindle, red, fawn and black, but they are also very common in chestnut and grey color. Presa is almost non-shedding dog, while Cane Corso do shed moderately. Great thing about both breeds is that their coats do not require much grooming. Both breeds are known for being good guard dogs, and indeed they are, but their temperament is a little bit different and if you are thinking about getting one of them, you should have some experience with owning a dog in the past, because these dogs are not dogs for novices, especially not the Presa Canario. The Presa Canario needs a lot of obedience training and they do need strict, firm and patient leader. They are dominant dogs and they are very suspicious towards strangers. This trait actually makes them excellent guards, but it can be the trait that makes them hard to manage. They are also very strong-willed, gentle and calm and the thing that most people love about Presas is that they are truly devoted to their owners. Cane Corso temperament is probably a little bit easier to manage, but they are still suitable for experienced dog owners, because they are very large and strong dogs and if you fail the training, you will have a problem, so think twice before choosing a dog like this. Cane Corso can be described as courageous, cheerful, loyal and quiet dog breed and they are not only the guard dogs, they love to work and they actually were used for herding cattle and hunting big game in the past, but they do make good guards and they are very responsive and agile dogs. The origin of these two dogs is different as well. Presa Canaria originated in Spain, better to say, on Canary Islands. And it's believed that they are descendants of Majorero, pre-Hispanic dog indigenous to these islands and other molossoids introduced to the Canary Islands. 
The Canicorzo is a dog from Italy and their ancestors are the old Roman dogs. This dog was primarily used as a hunter, they were hunting wild boars, as a herder and of course as a guard and protector and actually their names means guardian or protector. Both breeds are commonly healthy dogs with similar lifespan between 10 to 11 years, which is pretty normal for dogs of this size. They are both very energetic and they need daily exercise. Important thing is that they are both prone to gain weight, so make sure to feed them properly so they do not become obese, which is always risky for their health. Tell me in comments what do you think about these two dog breeds, which one is your favorite, what is your experience with them. And if you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Facebook and Instagram, links are in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.